What's going on everybody? It's Kyle Vinnick. Wireless earphones have become a common accessory. It's been about eight years since the original AirPods release. And within that time, we've came across many different wireless earphones. But even though there are a bunch of different versions, the AirPods remain the most popular. With my experience with the AirPods Pro, I can understand why these are more desirable than the competition. So these pros have been out since late 2019, but I copped these late of 2020, mainly because it was discounted. For me, the highlighting features of the pros over the regular AirPods are the active noise cancellation and the silicone air tips. I normally have a case on these AirPods, but for this video, I decided to have it raw. Also, I usually stay away from cases for small accessories. The casing of the AirPods can get damaged easily Plus, the case looks way too simple and plain. But on the front, you have the battery light indicator. On the back of the case, we got that pairing button. And you hold it for like 30 seconds to put it in pairing mode. Now, I can remember how satisfying it was to open and close the original AirPods. But these are even more satisfying. The hinges are designed perfectly to give you that pleasant sensation. I don't have many experience with other high-end wireless earphones, but I love how compact the overall size is. It makes it easily pocketable and manageable in the hands. Now onto the actual pods, it's just in the case magnetically, and the head of the pods are designed for you to easily pry it out with a finger. So I've dropped the right pod probably twice so far, so I have a few little dents on it. The silicone tips comes pre-installed with a size medium, and it also gives you a small and large size if the medium size doesn't fit you. These earbuds are designed to only fit Apple silicone tips, which you can buy at their store. Before considering these, I was concerned if the tips will irritate my ears because of my past experience with other earbuds. My ears do start to feel uncomfortable after about two hours of usage. Currently, that is about the same amount of time I would typically use these AirPods in one session. I know these tips don't fit for some people's ears because it slips out real easy. It isn't a perfect fit for me either, but it's never a point of frustration where it keeps slipping out. When I first had these AirPods, I immediately felt like the stem was short, but I became accustomed to it. So on the stem, you'll find an indentation, and that's how you operate different functions. One squeeze is play pause or answering a phone call. Twice is to skip forward. Three times is the previous. Press and hold to switch between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. You can also have it to activate Siri by going through the Bluetooth settings. Even though the mic on these pros are a bit further from my mouth, I haven't had any issues with it accessing Siri or doing phone calls. I will say that the mic quality isn't better than the mic on your actual phone but I'll get into that later. Overall design is a win because of how compact and practical it is. Inside, we got the H1 chip, which is the same chip as the second and third generation of the regular AirPods. It has a bunch of sensors like dual optical sensors, motion and speech detecting, accelerometer, and force sensor. It's rated IPX4, sweat and water resistant. We got a Bluetooth 5, we got wireless charging, active noise cancellation, transparency mode, spatial audio with dynamic head tracking, conversation boost. Now the performance with these pros is not perfect. I do be having some connection issues, even though I would have the pods already paired before. Sometimes I would have to manually select the AirPods to activate them. And occasionally, once it would connect, the sound would be distorted. Then I would have to reconnect them. Now some of these occurrences took place with an older version of iOS, on my 13 mini, but lately out of all the issues that pops up, the most is when I have to manually select the AirPods in the media settings to change the source, but it doesn't happen very often. We have three modes, off, noise cancellation, and transparency. I love how with each mode, they have their own unique chime. Noise cancellation is very useful for blocking the sound around you, even when you're not listening to any audio. If you're in a loud setting and you need time to focus, you can just pop these pods in and turn on noise cancellation to give yourself that time to focus on whatever task you're working on. Within the off mode, it doesn't use any special features. It's literally just the pure sound of these AirPod Pros. 
This could help with saving battery life. In transparency mode, it uses the mic on the AirPods to transfer sound around you. This helps a lot when you're listening to audio, but still want to be aware of your surrounding, like running outdoors. You'll hear a little hiss with transparency mode, but not so much within the media, but definitely with the audio off. There are extra features like conversation boost, which takes transparency mode to the next level. It's pretty much the same as transparency mode, but it's almost like everything you hear around you is in audio format. You can find all of these settings within the AirPod settings under accessibility. Also, there is spatialized audio that gives an immersive sound. This feature is packed with two different modes. You have fixed, that'll give you the most of the surround sound experience. With head tracked, it'll give you the feeling that the audio stays fixed right in front of you. And as you turn your head, you're hearing more on the side of the ear than it is closer to. When I first experienced head tracked, I was watching a movie and it activated itself automatically. It felt like the sound was coming straight from the phone and I had to double check what was going on. Aside from the pros, you can have access to spatialized stereo for the third generation of the regular AirPods. Now on the sound quality of these ProPods, I feel like these are good but not great. But you have to consider the purpose of these AirPods. They have tiny drivers and you shouldn't expect anything audiophiles would be blown away by. It gets extra loud at max volume, but honestly, I never listened to it on max. There's not much lows in these AirPods, so you feel almost zero bass. And that will suck for those who loved bass. My best description would be that these AirPods are best for podcasts and phone calls more than music. So I'm gonna have to rate the sound quality of these a six out of 10. When it comes to Android, you lose the features that makes these AirPods great, like noise cancellation, and the ease of connection. With all of these features, we get an okay battery life. It's said that with noise cancellation or transparency mode turned on, we get up to 4.5 hours of listening time with one charge. With features turned off, it's only an additional 30 minutes. Normally, I would have transparency mode on and I get closer to 2.5 to 3 hours of usage. Battery life definitely needs to be worked on, but that's expected it being a first generation for its pro model. You can wirelessly charge the AirPod case via MagSafe or a Qi enabled charger. I normally charge it with a lightning cable and it would take about two hours to fully charge. Overall, I wouldn't recommend these AirPods right now. And I'm sure a lot of you can understand why because of how old these are. Apple doesn't even sell the first gen AirPod Pros on the website anymore. These are a 2019 release and the second gen already been out for over a year. If you could snag these for cheap, then it would be a good buy, but only for its convenience and not for the sound quality. If you're already in the Apple ecosystem, then these AirPods will be beneficial because of the H1 chip to give you that instant connection and the options provided within iOS. These pros has to be the most interesting and convenient audio device I've ever used because of the features it packs. And I would love to try the mini competition that's out today. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. As always, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. And make sure you're subscribed for the latest. Later. Did he want to wake up as you were beside me?